Hey there guys, I am The Six Machine and welcome back to another Warhammer video. So Gen Con is well underway and we got some very cool kill team slash possibly 40k related news to get excited about and that is of course the brand new kill team box set as well as confirmation that it won't be too long until you can get your hands on not only the amazing Death Corps of Krieg models but also the new Orc Commandos in their own unique boxes. So first up, the new Kill Team box. This is Kill Team Chalnath, and that is the next expansion for the setting. And as they did say before, there will be plenty of new settings and expansions coming for this Kill Team game, along with new models over the coming months and maybe even years. And Chalnath features the forces of the Sisters of Battle against the upstart Troublesome Tau. And as we saw in Kill Team Octarius, the box set comes with forces for both factions, as well as a huge amount of terrain. And admittedly, in this box, as you can see on your screen now, it's a little bit more dull than the cool orc shantytown that we got in Octarius. But still, it's nice to get a big new set of terrain, which you can add to your battlefields. So in addition to all the necessary rules and abilities and data cards and whatever that you will need to run these forces in Kill Team, there are of course some brand new models coming along with them. The forces of the Sororitas come with the entirely brand new Sisters of Battle Novitiates, which is a brand new squad and as you can see on your screen now, appears to be some lightly armoured and based on the name, presumably lower rank newly inducted members of the sororitas. I'll be honest with you, the leader lady in the cloak, she looks kind of cool, but none of the rest of them really do it for me. They're okay, but in my opinion, they just don't quite fit in with the rest of the Sisters of Battle range. And I mean, I guess that might be the point because they're, they're novitiates and also they're a kill team unit, like first and foremost, but still, in my opinion, these minis are a little bit of a miss. And what makes this miss worse in my mind is that the sisters got their codex literally a couple of months ago. So yes, whilst these models are made with Kill Team in mind, they just also have rules for 40k. These aren't in the codex and that really does rankle me. It doesn't really make much sense as to why, because obviously when they wrote the codex, these girls were already printed and designed and they knew they were coming. So why not just put them in the codex anyway? It does seem like a little bit of a sneaky cash grab from GW in my opinion. And I know that as I said, these sisters are made for Kill Team. And as I have said many times before, I want unique specific units for Kill Team, but it's just, I was thinking that it would be factions that hadn't had a codex or hadn't had an update for, you know, months or years even, and they would be the ones that would get the benefit of these, these units to kind of keep the ball rolling while they were waiting for their new codex, not an army that has literally had a codex just a couple of months ago. And fair enough, if you play Kill Team, then it shouldn't be a problem. You'll get these, you can use them in Kill Team, and they will have the rules for 40k. But if you don't play Kill Team and you just want this unit in your 40k sisters army, the only place at the moment you're going to be able to get them is by getting this Kill Team box set. So it is going to be a bit of a feels bad moment for you to pick it up in my opinion because you're going to be spending a lot more money than you would possibly want to just for these novitiates. Still, I will say it is always nice to see new models. I'm never going to complain about new models. I just wish that it wasn't for a codex which had only so recently come out. And of course, it is nice to see that GW are keeping their promise and doing proper new units and support and expansions for Kill Team like they said they would. Until, of course, we come to the Tau. Now, as I said, Sisters have just got a load of new models and a new codex and now they're getting these brand new models in the Novitiate squad. The Tau though, the faction that hasn't had models for quite some time, that could really use some new love and support, that doesn't have a 9th edition codex, what new squad do they get to bring to the battlefields of Kill Team? They get a Pathfinder upgrade sprue. That's it. Not new Pathfinders, not brand new whole models, just an upgrade kit like the Cadians got. It adds new heads, new weaponry, new upgrades, and a load of new gadgets apparently. But still, it isn't new models, it is just an upgrade kit. And why GW thought that Sisters needed a set of new models and Tau could just get by with an upgrade kit just 
blows my mind. It, in my opinion, smacks massively of Imperium favouritism, which is a subject that I really, really try to stay away from talking about on my videos. I really don't like talking about it because although it's obviously there, it's a thing, I, I, I feel like GW knows that Imperium stuff sells better, so that's why, and, and it leads to a vicious cycle. I just try to avoid it, but really, GW, why didn't you just do a brand new set of models for both? Like you did with the Octaria set, why didn't you get Sisters a new set of models and Tau a brand new set of models? Or if for some crazy reason you had to choose one, so you could only do an upgrade sprue and then one of the sides could get brand new models, do the faction that hasn't literally just had a new codex and set of models. Do the Xenos faction that needs the support and the new kits more. It's just so frustrating to me how GW's mindset works sometimes. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure some Tau players will be happy to get the extra customization for their Pathfinders, but would it really have been so much extra work to just create an entirely new kit for the Pathfinders? Would it have really put in that much extra effort on GW's part to, to, to do what they have done for the Sisters and the Death Corps and the Orc Commandos in Octarius for the Tau? No, the answer is no, it really wouldn't. No matter what way you look at it, it wouldn't have been that much extra work. The only thing that I can think of is that there is another huge Orc Necron sized redesign of the Tau kits that is coming with the Tau Codex and that's why they haven't released the new models yet because they don't want to kind of give too much away as to what we can expect with the Tau Codex when it eventually comes. But I mean, really? I really don't think that is a good enough excuse to not just do a brand new set of models. Even five or ten models just for the Tau players to have something brand new to get excited about instead of just an upgrade kit. And what annoys me is that I worry this is going to be the precedent going forward. Instead of two awesome, gorgeous, brand new kill teams like we saw in Octarius, we're going to get a new kit and then just some half assed upgrade kit for the second faction in the box. And what if... Marines get new kits and then things like the Eldari or the Tyranids or the Gene Stealer Colts get lumped with just a few new extra heads and weapon options. That is going to be really, really sucky because it doesn't just make it less fun in kill teams. You know, you won't have the brand new unique unit type to play with in kill team if you are playing Tau. You will have to use Pathfinders, whereas Sisters can get this new squad, this new data sheet entry, the Novitiates. But when you bring them across to 40k, it yet again gives the Imperium players more unit entries and data sheets to factions like the Sisters and the Marines when the Xenos factions may end up just being left floundering with, with the data sheets that they currently have and nothing new. Now, I could be wrong, admittedly, I could be wrong. This could just be a one-off and the rest of the expansions will have amazing new Xenos models and kill teams for, for both sides and in each one and this upgrade was just a one-off for the Tau. It's just... In my opinion, for the first expansion of the new Kill Team game, and especially after the frankly brilliant Octarius release, which had the Death Core and the Commandos, this very much feels like a half assed effort, and it really does feel like a bit of a disappointment overall. There is, of course, some good news to mention, and that is that for those of you that want more Commandos or more Death Core models, but didn't want to root around eBay or trying to find copies of the full Octarius set, the individual kits for both of these units are going to be available very soon. And so you will be able to get more of them to add to your 40k forces and to paint up if you just want to build up a Death Corps army or have a full commando orc list for some reason. And then also if you are still wanting to get into Kill Team but didn't get the full Octarius box, there is a brand new mini starter set which will presumably be a much cheaper way to get into the game compared to the original Octarius box and as you can see it comes with the full set of models but a lot less of the terrain as well as a 56 page how to play guide and a compact rulebook. So like the 40k starter sets after the initial Indomitus box this will presumably be a nice cheaper way to get into the game if as I said you missed Octarius or you just want to get it without paying for the loads of extra terrain which comes with the original box. Like the 40k boxes, it's a good idea and I do think it will be pretty popular both for new players that missed the original uh, Octarius uh, box set 
or possibly 40k players that just want to get both sets of new models if you're an orc player and a guard player this will probably be cheaper to get instead of getting two of the uh, the individual boxes for the death core and the orcs and then also you get the, uh, the rule book and the terrain which you can then sell on if you want to make some of your money back so i think this is a good idea it's a good way to get new people into the game and i think it will be quite a popular way for for 40k players to build up their forces as well but what do you think of gen con so far and what do you think of kill team chalnath are you glad to see the sisters in the tau or would you have preferred to see other factions instead and do you think that the Tau should have got a full new Pathfinders kit instead of the Sisters getting their Novitiates? Or are they fine with the upgrade kit that they're getting and I'm just overreacting? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more Warhammer content from me. But until next time, I will catch you later, guys.